from the set of Mission Impossible 2020, where we're finally getting the screen combination everyone's been screaming for, Tom Cruise and Vin Diesel. Think of the action. Think of the dialogue. I can promise you this, they won't have to spend a lot of time memorizing their lines. This is Kurt Berglund with APA Baseball Hall of Fame set previews and dilemmas. Today, the Negro Leagues team It's a mess. That's where you come in. I'm gonna show you the team that I've assembled from the Negro Leagues players that are in the Hall of Fame. None were added, by the way, in the non-Hall of Fame set that was blended in. Apparently, Appa thinks 29 Negro Leaguers is enough. So, Let's look at what we got and the decisions that I've made and the choices that still need to be made. Here we go. All right, so the pitching staff looks like this. Satchel Page, Smokey Joe Williams, Hilton Smith, Bullet Joe Rogan, who is going to be used in the outfield, too. He's an outfield, too. He was an outfielder most of his career, as well as a pitcher. Will Foster, Willie Foster. I don't know why they call him Bill here. Really, Willie is what they call him, whatever. Rube Foster. Leon Day also spent some time in the field. Ray Brown. So what you have here are eight pitchers, and now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Kurt, is eight really enough? Well, the problem is, it's not really eight, first of all. I'll show you why in a minute. But second of all, I had difficulty making cuts with the position players. The catchers, Josh Gibson and Biz Mackey, and Louis Santop, um, I don't know. I guess I could cut Santop, but he was an awfully good player. Uh, these are the top three catchers in Negro League's history. I guess you put Campanella in there, although he was very young in Negro League's history. I could go down to two, I guess. I don't know. I also don't understand why, uh, if we're doing career cards, which is apparently what these are, why Gibson doesn't have an outfield rating why Mackey isn't rated at first and third, but I digress. Infielders, Buck Leonard and Mule Suttles are at first base. Suttles, of course, can play the outfield. They recognize that. Frank Grant was a 19th century second baseman, and they say the best player in the Negro Leagues in, the, in that era. Um, but there are some other second base candidates as well. Martin Digo who can also pitch, uh, as you see here, played every position. Outfield rating is low, um, but that's me. Um, played a lot of middle infield as well. I don't know. So he's technically pitcher number nine. Uh, he did play second base a fair amount, certainly enough to get rated, but Okay. Willie Wells at shortstop, uh, played only shortstop in his career, was a great player. Pop Lloyd was the best shortstop in Negro League's history, also played second base a lot. Why he doesn't have a second base rating, I don't know, but I'm playing him there uh, in these games. He's the one player I'm gonna add a position to because they just missed it. They just aren't doing it here for whatever reason. Uh, Judd Wilson uh, played outfield as well as third and first. Not a good glove, as you can see, but boy, could he hit. And that brings up uh, the man who could field, and that is Ray Dandridge, the third baseman, who earns his five rating here. 
Then we get to the outfield. Now, Papa Bell didn't spend a lot of time pitching, but he still got a, a pitching rating. I'm not sure a C pitcher is going to make the mound in this uh, league, but we'll see. Andy Pettit has a C rating, and he's probably going to have to be used. So cool, Papa Bell. Uh, he wasn't a three outfielder if we're doing a career rating. His arm wasn't that good, and he didn't have three range, but... Okay, so he's a three. Willard Brown um, has the same problem. He wasn't a three. He had a good arm, but he wasn't a three for range. I don't know where they're coming up with these numbers. Oscar Charleston definitely was a three uh, and has a wonderful card, as you can see. Uh, Pete Hill was a dead ball outfielder. Turkey Stearns, uh, 20s and 30s, power, 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 could play, could bat leadoff, could hit cleanup, either way. And Cristobal Torriente, uh, who uh, also an amazing outfielder and did a little bit of pitching. The players that I cut were these, Jose Mendez, who was a great pitcher and also, although it doesn't show it here, played infield as well. Uh, Judy Johnson, it was a lot like Ray Dandridge, although I'm saying Judy Johnson was just a touch worse than Ray Dandridge was. And so if you do exactly the same thing, it's tough to keep two people that do exactly the same thing on a team like this. Uh, he also played some shortstop, although he's not rated there in this game. I don't know why. Uh, if these really are career cards, they missed a lot of positions. And I know I haven't been critical of the set, and I know putting this kind of a set together is difficult because I've done it uh, for a different game. And But, uh, come on. Uh, ben Taylor was probably the third or fourth best first baseman in near league's history. Um, I don't know that you can keep three first basemen, although there's a couple teams that I'm doing it on in this league, so I cut them. And Andy Cooper was a reliever, but we've got relievers. He, he, started, he started, obviously, most of the time, but he did uh, relief work as well. He's a BZ, which puts him kind of on the bubble. Ultimately, I decided that he should not make the team, although I may go back on that. The other advantage he has is that he's a lefty, so if when I bring him in he, to face a left-handed batter, then he would bump to an A, and that might be worth keeping as well. Got to think about that a little bit. So those are the dilemmas and a few gripes um, about the Negro Leagues team. These are the four to cut. I think this team's going to do very, very well. They're going to certainly score a lot of runs. Uh, we're going to see how they do uh, once league competition starts against in the King of the Hill format. <clears throat> All right, a few other closing thoughts right As now. As you can tell, I take a big interest in the Negro Leagues. And if you're interested in the Negro Leagues... Uh, one of the things that I'm working on right now as we speak is a set of 36 Negro Leagues cards, which makes up two teams uh, uh, for Pine Tar Baseball. They will be free. And I'm also writing up a PDF uh, document that tells you a little bit about the players in the set in case you don't know them very well. Uh, and because the set will be free, and because the game is currently free on ttlbaseballgame.com, along with some other teams under the free to try tab at ttlbaseballgame.com, next week would be a great time to try out Pine Tar Baseball if you haven't already done so. Um, so I'm working on that set. It'll contain, it'll be a PDF file. It'll contain 36 players plus the write-up that describes the players. I'm going to try in that write-up to tell you a little bit about each player and then give you some comparable major leaguers uh, that they were like in terms of their ability. And uh, 
hopefully that will be a set that if you're interested in the Negro Leagues that you would enjoy taking a look at. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a preview video for that coming up in just a few days and we'll talk more about the set at that time. But keep an eye out for that if you are interested. Thank you again for joining me. We've got to stick together, people. Snow, three to six inches coming in Wisconsin today. Very exciting. I hope you'll join me again for more APA Baseball Hall of Fame set previews. Got one more to do to kind of pull everything together. And then in January, early January, we're going to get started with the King of the Hill games on my channel. Thank you so much for being a part of it. My name's Kurt Berglund. Please subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date on all of the action. So long, everybody.